This has to be one of the most uh, dramatic uh, hearings that I have ever witnessed, and I've been here in Washington nearly 20 years. The bottom line for folks at home is that the sentencing of the former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn has been put off for another 90 days. So there'll be a status report filed uh, in mid-March. But let me just walk you through what's happened in the last couple of hours. The federal judge in this case, Emmett Sullivan, began the proceeding by stating to the court, I can't think of a day when the court has accepted a guilty plea from a defendant that is not guilty and that is not going to start today. He then walked uh, the former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn through several elements of the case and he gave him multiple opportunities to withdraw the guilty plea, the guilty plea agreement with the special counsel. He gave Flynn multiple opportunities to challenge the circumstances of his FBI interview in January of 2017. These are the specific issues of not having consultation with the White House counsel, being discouraged from having a lawyer, also not being formally advised that any false statements could be used in a future prosecution, and Michael Flynn declined to do so. Through his attorneys, he told the court that he was aware that false statements to the FBI at any time could be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We just had a brief a pause in the proceedings, and the judge has come back, and he's tried to, in my view, sort of mellow or walk back some comments. He directed at Flynn as to whether his contact with the Russians in January and December, uh, right after the election, amounted to treasonous behavior. He had said to General Flynn that he felt his crimes were quite serious. He was a sitting national security advisor. He was making these contacts from the West Wing. And then he lied about the nature of those contacts to other members of the transition team, as well as the vice president. And he said he raised a question as to whether this amounted to treasonous behavior. Though in the last few minutes, he's come back to say that he did not in any way mean to apply, uh, imply that Michael Flynn had been treasonous. He also, I want to note, put the special counsel uh, under scrutiny and possibly even on notice. He asked the special counsel whether talking to the Russian ambassador in December of 2016 was a crime. And the special counsel representative responded, it could be a violation of the Logan Act. And then the judge sort of in a very uh, unusual way and flip way said, isn't that the act no one has ever been charged with? Which was sending a signal as to what was at the heart of this case. So a lot of drama, a lot of opportunity for Michael Flynn to withdraw his guilty plea, to challenge the conditions of his FBI interview in January of 2017, which the judge, judge said he found troubling personally. But Flynn has declined to do so, and sentencing has now been postponed for another 90 days, Harris. Catherine Harridge, thank you very much.